one million tons of concrete float across the channel. Artificial docks called mulberries to hide their top secret purpose. Huge, hollow blocks of cement that will be sunk offshore, forming piers. predictable in war. Sometimes casualties are lightest, where heaviest losses are expected. And often the worst fighting takes place, where none is anticipated. But whichever way the battle turns, each man must face his ordeal alone. Four merchant ships are deliberately sunk to build a breakwater that shelters the shore under its lee. Together with the mulberry units, they form a man-made harbor. Tons of supplies pour in with the invading troops, not afterwards when it might be too late. Human ingenuity rises to the challenge of invasion. But one factor, one all-important factor, remains beyond human control. of the German army, navy, and air force is unable to do. The worst channel storm in 80 years almost does. But the invaders hold the beaches. And in the ports of England, wave after wave is mounted to build and broaden the landings. The Allied Expeditionary Naval Forces execute their mission to assure the safe and timely arrival of troops, weapons, supplies, a mission which will have a profound effect on the history of man. This program will be interrupted from time to time to bring you the latest news bulletins as they are received in the newsroom. Keep tuned to your favorite NBC station to keep in step with all the latest developments on this Invasion Day. And now the orchestra opens the program with the revival of an old hit, Blue Room. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you a special broadcast. This is George Hicks speaking. I'm now speaking from the tower above the signal bridge of an American naval flagship. And we're lying some few miles off the coast of France, where the invasion of Europe has begun. It is now 20 minutes to 6.
in the landings. Allied planes release a barrier of bombs that cut off German reinforcements, paralyze German counter moves. Every road, every bridge, every rail line, every canal, all the way back into Germany, is smashed, isolating the French beaches. Every 75 yards, a landing craft heads for the shore and touches down. Resistance is furious from German suicide squads, but the Americans go in and hang on by their guts. Dunkirk returned to France, this time to stay. The British soldiers who beat Rommel on the sands of Africa helped destroy him on the sands of Europe. view their work. Eisenhower and Admiral Ramsey, commander of Allied naval forces, commander of American naval forces, Admiral Stark, Lieutenant General Omar Bradley, commander of the first United States Army. Field Marshal Montgomery of El Alamein, commander of Allied ground forces. invasion, the breakout, the swelling Allied armies stream inland, into Europe. Behind the survivors lie those who died to enslave the world. Those who died to free it. <laughs> 